Okay, day there once again viewers, this is your mate Kamikaze78 here and, well, it happened guys, it finally happened. Escalation is upon us and my god was the hype there from the Planet Side 2 community. I was streaming the lead up to the patch being deployed as well as the first few continent rotations on Connery and guys, I've never seen anything like it from this community. There was so much excitement, it was unbelievable. Now sure, there was a delay on when the patch was actually deployed and the EU region were left to wait a fairly long time due to their server migration taking place in the same patch and downtime. But I've got to say guys, the experience that took place after the patch was deployed was something akin to what I remember the game being like many years ago, closer to launch. On Connery, 1900 players joined the battle, three continents were open to accommodate for this. On Emerald, however, all four continents opened to house approximately 3600 Araxians fighting for control over Araxis. That is incredible. If you had told me six months ago that we would see four continents open on Emerald at a time, I would have laughed in your face. But here we are. And I've got to say guys, from the very get-go, I experienced some of the most aggressive fighting that I've ever bared witness to in this game. Not only on a faction versus faction level trying to cap capture territory, but also on an outfit versus outfit level within those factions. And I don't mean them shooting each other, but I mean competing for score in territories to score-based captures to earn themselves more resources. To further that point, continent capture alerts were popping a lot more often considering that now the mid-game alerts, like the aerial anomalies and the maximum pressure alerts, are no longer in the rotation for the testing phase on the live servers for this update. But to be honest, I kinda enjoyed it. All the alerts that took place on Connery tonight were nail biters, and it was just an all-round incredible experience. Like, check this out. This happened on the launch day of the Escalation update, and it was a clip from my stream, so excuse the slightly worsened quality. But honestly, I was given only in Planet Side 2 vibes straight as this happened, and that's something I haven't felt for a very long time. Speaking of... So, oh my god, look at this incoming mosquito. Big mosquito airball! Oh my lord, here they come. Wow, look at this! Oh my god. Oh my lord, get ready guys, this is gonna get chaotic. Huge! Oh dear god. My god, this is like launch day level stuff right here. Let's see if we can take some of these down. There's a few of them that are covering to a hover. We're just going to stand at this bridge here. Oh my... Oh, the, half of them are crashing into each other. <laughs> oh my god, what just happened? That was insane. There's no doubt about it, guys. Planet Side 2's escalation update was a opportunity. A big opportunity that for the newly restructured Rogue Planet games to reassure players that this game is now in the best hands that it could possibly be in, all things considered. Yes guys, we all know that the game has been through some incredibly rough states lately. Rel, in his latest interview with Mulcast, which I highly recommend listening to by the way, even acknowledged that there were some patches that he really wasn't happy with when they pushed them into live. But considering the manpower they actually had on the Planet Side 2 team, which at one point was only three people people, they kind of had no choice. So yeah, there were some rough patches. And in all honesty guys, I think they've done everything they could have done to make sure that the patch was launched properly, all the while giving players a good old pat on the back and saying, we've got this, go enjoy. For example, they delayed the patch for weeks to ensure that exciting new content wasn't accompanied by a collection of game-breaking bugs that would have rendered that new content useless. But instead, on the flip side of that, they also managed to fix some of the bugs that have been in the game for up to 9 months now. The one I'm referring to in particular here is the infamous Critical Chain bug, something that has been attempted to be fixed over and over again and they finally nailed it in the coffin today. In addition to that, performance didn't take that much of a hit when I was playing, if anything at all, during my initial play session. There may have been some small occasions while I suffered some jittery frame rates, but I think that's more or less due to the higher server population, as well as the fact that I was streaming the game while playing on Ultra Graphics on one PC, so I'm willing to sort of write those off as natural occurrences. But in addition to all of that, they have launched the update with a corresponding double XP event and a new redeemable code that new players can use to help get themselves into the game a little bit more confidently. 
This wasn't just an update to appease to the current audience, this was also an update to appease to those who had taken some long service leave from the game, or were checking out the game for the first time. This is something that I said needed to happen alongside the update on many occasions on my Twitch stream. It's to ensure that those who are returning for the first time in a while, or for those who are joining the game for the first time in the first place, felt like they were progressing well and finding that their efforts on the battlefield were rewarding them. New content is lovely and all, but the player needs to feel as though they're being rewarded in order to stick around, and having double XP run all the way through to Sunday ensures that those players are going to have a chance to make the most of this time to get their teeth sunk into the game. The new code, which is PS2 Escalation by the way, also gives access to uh, the NS11P Assault Rifle and a new helmet, which means that new players who decide to use this code will get a little bit of extra weapon variety when it comes to using one of the most new player friendly classes on the game, the Combat Medic. So if these new players are finding that the default Assault Rifle isn't quite up to their fancy, they at least have another choice out there to experiment with and feel as though they aren't locked into a painful experience for them. I've got to say, this was an excellent choice by RPG, and I'm assuming that it was very much deliberate with what was on offer with this code and how it would affect the new player experience. And with all that said guys, I've got to take my hat off and salute RPG here. They have truly taken every possible measure to ensure that things have gone as smoothly as possible. Content wise, we are yet to see how many of these big factors come to play in the coming months, especially with Outfit Wars coming up. But as far as injecting initial hype back into this seven year old game is concerned, that has now seen us fill servers to the point where all continents are open and having some battles in place, I would never have expected this. And not just on the development side of things have improved. The transparency, the communication, the overall conduct on social media from the development team and in relation with the community has improved tensfold. Our producer Andy Seitz, just now community manager, Rail Ali designer and Carter, one of the head developers, have in particular been doing an absolutely incredible job ensuring that we as players are given all the opportunities in the world to understand what is happening behind closed doors. And I think that that right there has a great deal of impact on the reception that this game has been receiving lately. Anyway, I could spend this entire video going over patch notes, but to be honest guys, you, you guys can all read. <laughs> you know, as, as cool as a Planet Side 2 patch notes story time would be with you guys, I think it's going to make more sense for us to take the time to quickly now talk about what needs to happen next from a community perspective with this update. Sure, the hype is there, we've got extreme player counts, but we as the community now need to do a lot with the Escalation update to keep as many players sticking around and enjoying the content that has come from this. Firstly, we need to ensure that as a long-standing community member, we are given either returning players or new players the opportunity to find a home in this daunting game. Not every outfit is going to open the floodgates, I get that. Outfits like Recursion, hell, even my outfit, prefer a slightly more controlled recruitment model that has some vetting processes of varying lengths. I get that, not every outfit wants to become the next big, big thing. But in saying that, if you are a larger outfit, now is the time to recruit those new players, and even veterans that are returning after some long service leave. Old veterans coming back are going to be left in the dark just as much as the new player, considering that the flow of battle will have changed a lot since they were last around. But also, moving away from a gameplay perspective here too, outfits that they may have known and loved back in the day may have disbanded or become inactive. Like I get it, some outfits are returning which is great, but the way the dynamic has changed a lot over the years with outfit relations and outfits that have become the main contributors on servers. So being a source of knowledge for those community members that are making a return is going to do a hell of a lot in ensuring that they understand what's going on and therefore sticking around for the long run. To help with that, I have a section in my Discord now where outfit leaders can post some details about their outfit and I want to invite all new players to join that Discord, check out that channel and see if something that is posted in there works for them. So if you're an outfit leader and you're watching this video, get in the, vid get in the Discord and start advertising your outfit. I want to turn my Discord into a bit of a hub for the community in regards to outfit relations and new players finding outfits in the long run. So yeah guys, giving those players a chance to get into the community and become a more integral part of the community will highly improve their chances coming back and ensuring that these populations that we are seeing aren't just a one-off hype-driven number. 
Planet Side 2 may be a shooter, guys, yes, but we've got to keep in mind that this is an inherently social experience. We've got guilds in this game, for crying out loud, and they are integral to this update. So we want new players to ensure that they can actually make use of the features that they've probably been so excited about in this update. Now, yes, I understand that we're all trying to get as much resources as possible for our war assets, and we're all trying to, you know, rank as highly as possible on the outfit leaderboards for the upcoming outfit wars, and we're all trying to make the most of the more frequent alerts. But at the same time, guys, let's try to take some time to slow down from time to time and actually spend some time teaching new players the game. A little explanation can go a long way, but if you're in a fast-moving platoon and you're setting waypoints left, right, and center, expecting people to redeploy halfway across the map at an absolute whim and half your squad are a bunch of new players, they're going to, you know, for one, become very lost very quickly. They're going to see that you guys are bouncing all over the map, left, right, and center. They're not going to understand what's going on. They're going to feel left out, and therefore they're just going to go back to the standard shooter experience because that is all this game may feel like to them. Make sure that you're spending the time with your new players and ensuring they understand what is actually going on. And beyond that, guys, just stay positive. Yes, bugs do still exist. Yes, some of the war assets are pricier than they should be right now, and we're going to do a video on that in its own accord a bit later on. Yes, not everything in this patch is going to appease to everyone, but instead of ranting out on Reddit or bringing some serious angst to your squad comms, take your complaints to the bug reporting system or if you've got larger feedback create a post on reddit get talking with the community be open-minded with each other and together we can help create an experience with rpg as they continue to flesh out these new systems and paint the way forward for the game to continue to grow rogue planet games have given us the mechanical features and new hype that associates with a new update for us to work with in this game. It is now up to us, the community, to ensure that the new players joining us on the battlefields understand where their place is and how to enjoy it. It's as simple as that, guys. And with that said, guys, that kind of wraps up today's video. This is very much not a patch notes overview or a review of the patch. This is more or less beating on what Rogue Planet games have done right, how things have changed for the better, and in turn, what needs to happen now as we continue through the coming months while playing, while playing on the Escalation update. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, a backhand of that like button would be greatly appreciated. If you're new to the channel, backhand the subscribe button whilst you're at it. I'd love to chat with you guys in the long run about more things I've got planned. In addition to that, guys, if you are enjoying the channel and you're a long-standing person and you want to support it further, consider joining the membership on the join button down below. Once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Peace out, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care, guys. Have a good one.